Happy Advent. And I know what you're thinking. Man, that girl was a lot of scarves. Okay, maybe not. But seriously, it is like freezing here in California. It's gotta be like 60 degrees. <laughs> but anyways, this is not about my scarves. Um, although it is purple, very Advent-y. Um, this is about how we can make Advent more fruitful. And our culture hates Advent. Well, maybe not really, but hates everything it stands for. Waiting, longing, self-control. We're such a culture that's fast food, fast women, fast internet and gadgets. We can't wait for nothing, okay? Seriously. I mean, just think about, um, you know, 100 years ago, even like 50 years ago, people would write letters, snail mail, and have to wait weeks, months to hear from their beloved. And now we can't wait 30 seconds for a text message. I'll give you an example. Boy texts girl. Girl texts boy and waits and waits a minute, two minutes, two minutes. Oh my gosh, he must not like me anymore. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. Why isn't he texting me back? Girl, get a hold of yourself, okay? Seriously, he's probably in the bathroom or something. So, but that's what we're like. We, can, we can't really wait for anything anymore. And uh, we're not very patient. And that's what Advent's about because Rome wasn't built in a day. And our souls and our hearts are not built in a day. It takes a while to build virtue. Um, I was praying for humility a couple years ago, which I would not recommend because God gives you the opportunities to practice that humility. And everything was testing my patience. And I was like, what the heck? You know, I was getting in really, like, behind really slow drivers. And I was getting behind really slow people at the checkout stand at the supermarket. And I was like, ugh. I was like, Lord, I'm not praying for patience. I'm praying for humility. What the heck? And I clearly heard God say, Jackie, it's because humility takes a long time and you're going to have to have some patience. And I was like, oh, ouch. But it's true that we have to, we have to learn how to build patience and we have to learn how to long again and wait. And just think about Mary. Mary found out she was going to have the Son of God. And for nine months, as Jesus developed in her womb, I can just I can't even imagine the, the thoughts that were going through her head. Like, what what's he gonna look like? Is he gonna look like me? I mean, is he gonna look like the Holy Spirit? I mean, what's he gonna talk like? What's he gonna act like? What's he gonna smell like? And she waited with this eager anticipation for the coming of her son, and we should too. And we should wait and be excited and be hopeful for the coming of Christmas, but even more for the coming of Jesus' return. For him coming back and while we wait we have to prepare our hearts but it takes time and it takes patience so how can we do this well delaying gratification and I know I'm not that great at it you know I have to practice and one thing is like fasting and I love me some food okay so fasting is not the easiest thing it's hard to you know maybe not snack in between meals or to give up dessert or to delay that gratification because we know we all lack ourselves food or, or maybe um, only going on Twitter or Facebook once a day you know and, and learning how to create that self-control or if you're gonna watch a TV show maybe put that off for a few hours or put it off for a week and um, you know read scripture or go to mass or go to adoration instead and and, and build that virtue so I hope that you have a wonderful Advent, and I'll be praying for you, and Mama Mary, pray for us too. So happy Advent.